Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you a few different curling techniques that you can achieve with your flat iron. In my case I'm using AGHD from the white edition which is my favorite straightening iron or my favorite flat iron for curling as well as for straightening. And I'm just going to show you a few different techniques because there's not just one curl you can achieve with a flat iron. And I think we're just going to start off with the simplest one that everyone sort of knows how to do. That is the main curl you get when you go to a hairdresser and you say you want your HD curls. And this is how it works. You put your flat iron right by the roots. If you want your curls to start by the roots, you're going to twist it right on the roots. If you want your curls to start more down here, you start twisting down here. But I'm going to show you how to do a flat curl starting by the roots. So you put your GHD iron in and you turn it 180 degrees on the root area. And the main simple step is to pull very, very gently and slowly without the head moving. <laughs> Smooth out as you go. You can also take a little comb and comb the hair while you slide it down. This is the main thing you need to do to create a perfect curl. Be very, very slowly. And you sort of twist it. And this is the first GHD curl. Hairdressers make it look very, very complicated at times on how to do curls. And I think it's very, very easy actually. And they just make it look very complicated. So the basic curl, as I showed you before, it doesn't matter if you put it in like that and twist it or if you put it in on angle like that and twist it. It does the same in the long run, but it just looks a little bit different from the root area. So depending on whether you want, if your face is here and you want it out of your face, you would put it in and then twist it towards the back of your head. If you would put it in and twist it towards your head, obviously you would have the curls coming towards your head. But the really basic method is you put it in by the roots you twist it 180 on the roots and then you start pulling it out. You don't have to do those funky things like that, like the hairdressers do. It's absolutely unnecessary. You just put it in, twist it and pull it. The secret is to pull it slowly. If you pull it really fast, I'm just going to show you the top. I pull slow. And now if you pull it fast like that, it won't do anything. So you can see that the top is curled and the bottom isn't. So if you just give it <laughs> a little bit more patience and pull it slowly, you will be fine. The next curl I'm going to show you is with a lot of lift on the roots. So we take a small section again. But this time we're actually going to hold the hair up. I'm just going to show you like that. So we're going to hold the hair up. We're going to put the iron right on the roots and sort of twist it upwards and again slowly pull it upwards. If you pull the hair upwards this will make the curl tighter as well. If you were to pull downwards the, the curl will be looser. Now she's got very long hair here my little doll. Oh this is Angelina by the way. Brittany's on holidays today. <laughs> so now you've got this and you can see how you get that root lift just there. If you wanted a flat curl like the one I did before, you wouldn't pull it upwards like that. You would basically pull it down and then start twisting, if that makes sense. The next curl I'm going to show you is the beach wave, which looks absolutely gorgeous when you do it on the whole head. If I only do one curl now, as I will be showing you, um, it, it doesn't really have the same effect, but if you do the whole hair, it looks just absolutely gorgeous and spray or put some wax in and separate the curls. It'll look fantastic. Okay, so what we do is put the flat iron in by the roots and we're going to turn it 180. And we just pull a tiny little bit. Now you leave the iron exactly where it is, but you're going to turn it around all to the other way and you're going to pull again. Now you're going to repeat it. You're turning it around 180 and pull it out. 
and again the same, we're turning it all the way around and then turn it 180 and then pull again. And this is just how you work your way down. Turn, turn all the way and more. Didn't do it all the way now, but okay, let me just show you close up what it looks like. This is what it looks like after. So you have that sort of very molded shape, mm, close to like uh, a finger wave. If you do this all over and put some product in it, it, it looks absolutely gorgeous. It looks nearly like a natural sort of beach wavy look, and I really love it. I'm going to show you how to do a finger wave. Finger waves usually are shaped in like an S shape all the way down, and people like to wear it um, in their fringe area and around the head, and sometimes people comb it out as well to get just this finger wave but loose effect. And now I'm going to show you how to do that with the flat iron which is um, a little bit tricky in the beginning, but once you've done a few, it's pretty simple. So you want to take a longer section this time, but not quite as wide or as thick. And you're going to use some hairspray for this, and I'm just using a medium hold hairspray. I'm going to spray it all the way down to this last strand of hair. Now I'm going to hold it really quite flat. Just going to move that head bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now the important thing with this is that you hold it tight, very, very tight, and you put your flat iron right down the base. So we're going to grab this little hair here. We're going to pull it in that direction a finger curl, uh, a finger wave would sit. And then you're going to move the straightener and place it right where you want this um, finger wave to be. Now you're going to go over to the other side again and you're going to place it the way you want it to be, this way. And again, you're going to just press on with your flat iron and now you want to go the other way again. You're just going to press. If you do this too quick, it won't work. So you have to have some patience. But again, if you do a whole head like that, it looks absolutely gorgeous once you've combed it out. So just sort of shape it as you go. My dogs are going crazy today. I left them outside so they wouldn't annoy me. But now they're outside and they're barking as hell. So now we're finished and it's all quite nice and hard because of the hairspray. But you can see this S-shape pattern and you've got those little ridges as well that you want. And it's really, really easy once you've done a few. So once this is all cooled down and dry from the hairspray, you can also just comb it out. Again, if you do a whole head, oh, it looks fabulous, absolutely gorgeous. So you comb it all out. And then you've just got this finger wave pattern happening. So I hope you enjoyed that and stay tuned for more videos.